You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 22 of the clock cleaners podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And uh, we're going to, I might be struggling through this one too, actually. <laughs> well, you know, one thing we didn't struggle through? Three hours of Monday Night Raw. Is it because we didn't watch it? It is. Okay, that's um, good. All right, so before we get to your reasoning why you didn't watch it, uh-huh. obviously I was completely soured by last week's episode. I figured, Because hey, of how bad it was? Yeah, I'd catch a Hulu replay uh-huh. um, after reading, after watching the Hulu replay and reading the results of the full three-hour show. Made the right decision. They cut out all the crap. Yeah, they it watching the. Hulu I mean, there version. was still crap because they still talked about stuff that was going to happen on SmackDown, yeah. and we got recaps from other things. Our Sullivan but, thing. Yeah, that's, that, that's my favorite part. Is just like they leave in completely useless nonsense, but they'll like cut out actual matches. It's just, oh yeah, it's mind boggling mm-hmm. what their thought process is. Yep. Because it's like, oh, okay, well, I'm watching this to see what happens. And what they do is they just show recaps of what happened, what they did show. Yeah. So, like, it's not even like you can watch it to get a whole, like, idea of what happened. And it's taking out the filler. Oh, yeah. It's leaving in the filler and taking out the stuff that they don't right. necessarily care about. It, like, it's just, yeah, yeah, it doesn't no, make a whole lot of sense. Not really. So, um, you were working Monday night, right? I was not working. It was oh. it was my girlfriend's birthday, and we went out to dinner. Oh. And by the time I got home, I'm like, I don't really want to watch the rest of it. I don't blame you. Yeah. So, I, I like you said, I made the right decision. You did? So. <clears throat> so, let's hear how you watched it. Okay. <laughs> so, Tuesday night, I got home. It's like 7 o'clock, 7.15. Mm. And I'm sitting there. I'm like... I really don't want to watch Raw tomorrow, so I'm going to try to watch both of them at the same time. <laughs> so I got a head start on Raw. So did you have the computer yeah, with I watched, one I wa- and the other one on the TV? Yeah, I watched, I watched Raw on the computer, and I watched SmackDown on the TV. <laughs> Brilliant. So I, I, got it, I got like a 45-minute head start on Raw, mm-hmm. so I got like halfway through, and I was just skipping a whole bunch oh, of stuff. Oh, I, I killed it in 45 minutes. No, well, I, I had to stop it a couple uh, times right. and stuff. Fair enough. I, I wasn't playing them simultaneously. My plan was to, when SmackDown went to commercial, I would You'd continue watch Raw. I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> so ah. it wasn't quite as good as you expected. Uh, but, well, I, I needed better. to take notes at the same time. So if I was trying to take <laughs> notes simultaneously between two things. You can't do it. Yeah. Well, because I'm watching it on the computer and typing on the same computer. <laughs> And watching on the TV and typing on the computer. So it didn't quite work. That sounds so, entertaining. But yeah, I got a head start, and then SmackDown started. I mm. had to stop until the commercial. And then at one point, I was watching both at the same time because oh, nothing was nice. really going on. Nice, nice. But by like 8.30, 9 o'clock, I You're was done. good. Yeah, because I think that's when you texted me and said, yeah, Roe is yeah. abysmal. Yep. Which I thought it was better than last week. It, it was, um, yeah, well... You, because the, st- <laughs> the stuff that happened on there was more entertaining. Right. Because it wasn't just like, but it, it wasn't good. It just, there was a lot more emphasis on Balor for right. whatever yes. reason. Yeah, yeah, he had a good showing yeah. that night. Yeah, and it, instead it of weird. it being Baron Corbin, so it, because. Well, I guess it was just a balance from last week. Yeah, because it's technically the same thing. Because the good guys the, stood tall pretty much the, the whole, whole show. show. Yeah. yeah. But, um, like, this time, it was the same exact thing, except for Balor was Corbin from last year. Yeah. That's yeah. it. There's only difference. Um, but, yeah, no, what was cut out of Hulu uh-huh. was the uh, Lucha House Party nonsense. Yes, that's hilarious. It was supposed to be, what, Scott Dawson in a singles match against one of the members of the Lucha House Party, which <laughs> turned into a three-on-one match, yep. which the revival, or Dawson ended up losing. Of course. Because they started an online petition to to have everybody sign it, saying the uh, Lucha rules are unfair or whatever. They are unfair. It's it's just nonsensical. It's like, why is this happening? My favorite part is that this is a tag team that I've been talking badly about forever. (laughs) And just at every corner, like the the WWE just keeps... the Samoa Joe effect. Yeah, it just keeps on proving me right (laughs) over and over again. You son of a bitch. Yeah, and and I don't want to be right. That's the best part. It's just the writing's on the wall. Yeah. They have no future... 
in the company. I don't know why they're trying so hard to push them away without actually just getting rid of them. Um, I'll just send them to SmackDown. That would work, too. There's tag team matches actually well, <laughs> happening over there. The biggest there. problem with that is that SmackDown has the better tag teams. It's true. So they would be an obscurity <laughs> there, too. Ah, they might the difference be... is that they would just be having matches. To have matches. Well, no, actually, they wouldn't be having matches at all because they don't tape a show before it. Right? Yeah, no, not Actually, anymore. if anything, they'll just be on 205 Live with... <laughs> they will not be on... Which, they're with, the horses of 205 Live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which, with, they'll have the same matches except for the difference it won't be on Monday nights. <laughs> Their reasoning will be, yeah, we've been fighting 205 Live matches against Lucha House Party on Monday Monday Night Raw. Obviously, we're in the cruiserweight division. Yep. So yeah, it's just it's just the joke. <laughs> All right, so that or they should send them deck down to NXT. Yeah, that would actually make sense. Yeah, because I don't even think much is going on in the tag team scene with the, well, besides well, the undisputed too era much, and too much stuff is inter uh, interlocked with um like with the, just the whole undisputed era yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Because he's feuding with Ricochet and... and um, The British it? Strong Style, right? No, a War Machine. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Now. Yeah. War Raiders. War Raiders. Yes. So that's 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 the that's tag right. team division. That's right. So it's it's less, I guess, less defined. Yeah, sure. So, or that's they could send them to Evolve like they did with um, the... What the was Street it? Profits? The Street Profits. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that would make sense, too. There you go. Or, you or know, they can something. just... Uh, let them go. Send, yeah. send them to New Japan. Have them fight with the Young Bucks. Like <laughs> oh, they my want God. To. Yeah. They, I think they both both of them posted it. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, all right. So we had another uh, Bailey Sasha questionnaire, whatever the hell you want to call it. That was that was. It was skipped. basically a repeat that changed. Um, Just the other way around, right? Well, it got turned into a tag team match. Oh. It was Alicia Fox and uh, Mickey James versus Bailey and Sasha. And Dana Brooke came out, right? And she was believe, trying to team yeah, with. Yeah, she was probably the cheerleader again. Yeah. yeah. And they said, no, no, no. You stay on the outside. Yep. Even um, though you were supposed to be a good guy a week and a half ago. But uh, yeah, I think they were asked about something they or, or want to happen in 2019, and the women's tag titles were brought up. Oh, so, okay. And I think their mat, dream match was against Trish and Lita at WrestleMania. But so, but that kind of happened already. Yeah, I would, I would, so, wouldn't be surprised. Probably going to happen. So, and my favorite part is that they were set and getting so ready to pull the trigger <laughs> <laughs> on Sasha versus Bailey. They are going back five months May? now. March? No, it was probably a little later than that. Yeah. But. Um, I it was they were they earlier. were so ready to pull the trigger. <laughs> they were there, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> nope. One night of counseling, and yep. you're good. Yeah, and now all of a sudden they're going straight forward on the tag team <sighs> thing. So they're not going to break up anytime soon. But I guess theoretically speaking, if they're gonna have the match, mm. they're gonna. It would make sense for it to be post tag team. I guess, but. Like, at the same time, it's like they got so far into the story mm-hmm. that just a backpedal like that, it's just... It's bad. Unreal. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Rhino got fired. Yeah, I heard... That's that's what I heard about, too. Well, I guess he was looking to retire, so... Yeah, Corbin yeah. put him against Heath, Heath Slater, and Heath Slater <laughs> actually beat Rhino. Which doesn't make any sense. Uh, and then... Um, I guess apparently Gable and Rude wanted another tag title shot. So yes. Corbin made it Rude versus Drake Maverick, which turned into a handicap match of Authors of Pain and Drake Maverick versus Rude and Gable. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. That's Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Well, no, it makes it make cuz I knew they were on the show, but I yeah. didn't know And that was all cut from the Hulu version. Yeah, that's a lot of How stuff. How nice is that? That's a lot of stuff though. And, At least I no mean, one peed on the robe. <laughs> Well, Bobby only has one robe. Yeah, he, apparently. He's not naked. Despite the fact that he's had multiple colors and yep. many different versions of it going back right. to NXT. So, right now, I, I think Raw's biggest issue, is besides everything. Besides everything, of course. Um, you know, you lost Braun. You lost Roman. Mm-hmm. Owens is out. Zayn is out. Um, they had this problem where they aren't able to create anybody to take that spot. Uh, and they're not even doing it now. But they never gave anybody any TV time to even get the audience invested, in, interested in them, yeah. and then push them uh-huh. because it's Balor is the only one who can really it. do it right now, yeah. and he's kind of doing yeah. it. Well, th- this show yeah. next week could be totally different. It's true. This felt more like the go should have been the go home show to TLC. Yes, I guess. 
Well, I mean, you had. I mean, yeah. Okay, now now that I think yeah. about it, yeah, that makes right? sense. Maybe they thought I've, it was the Sunday. <laughs> it's possible because I was gonna say it really doesn't seem like anything could happen next week that's gonna enhance. Because it, it can't. The it, the only thing I can think of is that since Balor had such a good showing, they'll have him have a bad showing again yeah. next week to All have right. him win at the so, pay per view. We'll talk about. Um, it was apparently. Drew McIntyre Appreciation Night. Yes, which was pretty Came fun. out and did his usual nonsense about putting the roster on notice and all the other stuff. And mm-hmm. Look at him now. Yep. And then Dolph Ziggler came out and said, you know, you wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for me. I brought you over, blah, blah, blah. And that ended up turning into a match. A I f- match. I fell asleep during this. Point. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> Dolph came out and drew, you know, ran him down, said, what well, are you going to cry? And then Dolph hit him with the zigzag. And, uh, or was it, the, yeah, yeah, it's exact. Um, and then they had the match, like yeah. you said, and Balor came out and cost Drew the match. So Dolph pinned him clean. And this was Drew's first singles loss on Raw mm-hmm. to Dolph. And which is funny. It's not, it's not going to go anywhere. No. Like, all right. So, well, Drew, no, this was, this was meant to fuel uh, Balor and yeah. yeah, yeah no, so I, Dolph I being involved is completely irrelevant. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. But. You, they haven't been together for weeks now. Um, yeah, because he's I, been with the losers. Yeah, so I, I guess had this happened a little earlier, right. it would have made more yeah, sense. I thought so. Like before they established the fact I that mean, Drew and Balor uh, were right, going to so fight. I mean, not Drew. What was the point? In, like, like yeah. th- there was no point in this because yeah. okay, unless he just completely washed his hands clean of Ziggler, and that's it. Ziggler mm-hmm. got the win. He's going to go and. No, I would imagine that the, the Ziggler's involvement was a one and done. That's, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, if, I don't, at least I don't think this is going to continue. It shouldn't, but um, I mean, Dolph Ziggler getting a meaningless win and Drew McIntyre is probably going to beat Finn at the pay-per-view. Um, yeah, I guess that would make sense because it does seem like they're trying to push Drew to be the next guy anyway. So I, 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 I like the idea of Drew um, beating uh, Lesnar at the Royal Rumble. And then him feuding with Balor. Yeah. That would, that would work. No, yeah. There's really no other options right now. No. Because um, unless, unless Braun is back and he does get his title shot, who, who the hell knows? Still up in the air. Although I, I kind of would be able to believe Drew to beat... Uh, no, that's not... No, Strowman oh, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <clears throat> well, it's, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Again, we'll see. who knows if this is any long term? If there's actually any long term oh, no. plans there, no, no, or no, everything's no. just been the, screwed since the, everything that happened with Roman the, and then Strowman. And yeah, then. the quality is definitely a, a a good example of why they plan things out. Yeah, because as soon as something doesn't go the way mm-hmm. that they want, and so, certainly so big of a a way, they just they got nothing. That's true. Because they could very easily be focusing on Dean and Seth's. As yeah, like, as the, and that, they're just dragging out. Yeah, because that could very easily be the program on the show, but for some reason they're not really doing much with it. Right. Yeah, because Ambrose came out dressed as Bane and everybody the gas mask on. I did like the. That's pretty uh, funny. I did like the sirens in his music together. Yeah, it worked I, pretty good. I th- they might have flat out changed it. Mm-hmm. Possible. It's possible. Um, it doesn't make a whole lot this, of sense. But. I mean, Dean did his nonsense. It was. Kind of, or similar to what Daniel Bryan was doing on SmackDown. Yeah. And just, you know. Less you people, oriented. You people. Yeah. That was what uh, everything turned. Well, and that's, then it, that's the easiest way oh, to yeah, get absolutely. fans to boo somebody that right. they like. And it was because Dean said everybody was dirty and they had diseases and stuff like yep. that. And Daniel Bryan's, we'll, we'll get to it when we talk to Smack, about yeah. SmackDown. But uh, this turned into a Seth and Dean brawl. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I... I just fast forward right through it. Yeah, it was it was not worth no, watching. Man, I don't need to watch that. Um, Dean did in- inevitably <laughs> stand tall, but that was about it. I was reading the Battler versus Gender notes. Um, That's true. Yeah, I didn't I didn't understand that happen at all. Yeah, so Finn Balor versus Gender, because I guess Gender went up to uh, Corbin and said, "I'll take care of Finn Balor for you," or yeah, something. Or probably Corbin probably went to Gender, but Tomato. tomato. I thought. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. It really doesn't matter. Yeah. So we were getting Balor versus Gender, which we've never seen before. Nope, not once. Um, he didn't so almost what, kill years him ago? that one time. Yeah, he didn't kill him. Um, so apparently Apollo, well, yeah, Apollo did come down midway because I guess the Singh brothers were getting involved, right? Yeah. And he laid them out and then laid out Jinder and then Finn hit the coup de grace and got the victory. Mm-hmm. So what are we going to get? Jinder versus Apollo? On the pre-show. It's possible. 
yeah. despite the fact that 90% of the matches that they've made so far are pre-show quality matches. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I would assume the Mixed Match Challenge is going to be on the pre-show. Um, No. Well, based <laughs> off of who, who we think is going to be There we go. It. What? Ginger's not going to have this match. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that yeah. later, a little yeah. later on because that's absolutely mind-boggling. Yeah. All right. So I guess we should talk about what started, opened the show, and closed the show. Yeah, I guess we could do that. Um, So I'm going to be the first one to say this. I have no interest in any of these four competitors I in skipped this. through everything. The only reason why I knew what happened was because I saw what they, they've been talking about it later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, they had that <laughs> recap again. Yeah. So it was Ronda and Natty versus Tamina and Nia to kick off the show, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody came out. I don't think the match actually started. No, no, everybody was out. I think. No, I don't think the match, like, the bell rang. I no. don't think the bell oh, rang. Oh, maybe not. Um, yeah, and... Natalia, they, they they started. I thought they started some fight. I feel like they didn't. I don't know. Um, I was fast forward. Yeah, well, that's that's what I mean. <laughs> so either way, the Riot Squad comes out holding a table. Mm -hmm. Surprise, surprise! Right before the TLC pay per view, <laughs> um, then they all start fighting, and then the Riot Squad, like for like ten minutes, try to get Natty through yeah, the table. Yeah, and then while well, Tamina and Nia, I guess, beat up Ronda in the ring. Right. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, Ronda almost saved her, but she just was unable to. And then Natty goes to the table, clutching her arm for some reason. I mean, I would think they would do Natty versus Ruby in some sort of match at I, TLC. Yep. That's too many or, matches going on. I, I, that's what I, I know, but I feel like matches. they're just doing a lot of crap, and they never settle anything on TV. It's true. Um, too many matches. Or... Riot Squad versus Natalia and uh, Sasha and Bailey, just because that could happen again <laughs> in a stairs match. Yeah, in a stairs match. <laughs> all okay. right, all three team left. Yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, so Rhonda goes in the back, or well, yeah, she's yelling at Alexa, Alexa Bliss, and I'm like, that's not how faces are supposed to act. What yeah. the hell's going on here? Yeah. And then she wants to. Uh, you were all smiles two minutes ago, walking out to the ring. That's true. She wants to finish the match, and Alexa's like, well, I don't know who your partner's going to be. Or I have an idea. I think yeah. she said she has an idea. And I don't, Ronda goes, oh, well, I don't trust you because you're up to no good, so mm -hmm. I'm going to find my own partner. Right. And, you know, that was it. Yep, and then it ended up being Ember. That's our main event, Ember and Ronda versus Tamina and Nia, and it was a shit show. Yeah. Surprise, um, surprise. Uh, like, the finish with... Uh, Ronda tapping to, or making Tamina tap out like when she threw her down it was like she rolled her over yep. and then the arm bar wasn't even it didn't even no. look like it was locked in yeah, properly Tamina's like, like a fish out of water it, it was it's, bad yeah it's pretty bad cause she's got like the she's got like the mobility of Naya without the intimidation yeah. ability yeah. of I Naya. saw some clips online and it just like strikes weren't even making contact no. and well that was uh, Ronda on uh, Tamina probably told her, to, or she was told to dial it back. Yeah, it, so it's not it, good. Yeah, it's not. It's not no. good. No. So and it, it's so funny because in contrast to the SmackDown Women's Division, oh. it's just hilarious because <clears throat> that theoretically speaking, mm -hmm. um, Raw has the three most popular um, wrestlers. Six months ago, mm. Raw had the three most popular okay. wrestlers. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Because oh, Becky wasn't where she was oh, six no, months no, ago. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, and Sasha Bailey and Alexa Bliss. Mm -hmm. But Alexa Bliss is out. Yeah, I think she was cleared to wrestle. But she hasn't. Oh, been. yeah, yeah, no, no, no. She hasn't, she hasn't been wrestling nope. on a regular basis in forever. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, and then Sasha and Bailey are stuck in this stupid nonsense with the tag teams. So, literally, Raw is... One, uh, Ronda Rousey, who is a lot better than we thought she was going to so, be, surrounded by the worst wrestlers in the women's division. Because despite the fact that SmackDown does have some duds, yeah, they're, they're not bad. Too, they're and, just not as good I mean, as the. We'll get to SmackDown because I liked what they did with uh, the women's match. Yeah, no, it was it was they have they have the talent to enhance the stars mm -hmm. whereas raw oh, right, right, doesn't right, yeah. because raw has dana brooke alicia and Fox, they don't even use yeah, dana brooke tamina um nias who still really hasn't gotten any better no and 
none of uh, the riot squad are all right, but they're not used in a in a way it's to make people look better. Cringe, like it's bad. Yeah, like so. The the women's um, division on Raw is a, a all mess. All right, so we figure that Ronda's going to end up facing one of Becky and, or Charlotte, or hell, Oscar, who knows, at Mania. It, it's yeah, it's going to be whoever wins the Rumble. So now, what do they do between TLC and the Rumble? Are you referring to on Raw? Yes. Um, it's just going to be Nia and um, Ronda. You think it's going to mm-hmm. just continue? Yes. Um, Ronda is going to win. And Nia's gonna come with come up with some kind of excuse. Corbin's check. gonna take or Alexa's gonna take Nia's side, mm-hmm. and that's gonna lead to another match at the Royal Rumble, which Nia will also lose. Um, and then I don't know, not have Ronda on the February pay per view. Maybe that would which will, yeah, because what they can do is have. Like a big multi-woman match to mm. have the number one contender for the whatever title didn't didn't yeah, yeah. because I, I don't know but I just I I don't I don't like the idea of it being Naya I would honestly be okay if it goes from Naya done yeah um next week and then it goes to Ember for two matches yeah I'd just, be okay with that just because you know you've been a good partner you could just do like a sportsmanship angle yeah that'd quickly. be fine just get it done. Because a Nia Ron, not a Nia, an Ember Ronda match will be a lot better than yes. a Nia Ronda match. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So that's that's kind of what I would like mm-hmm. to see. Doesn't mean that we're going to see it. That's true. Um, there's a very good chance it could be Ronda and one of the Riot Squad, probably Ruby. It's possible. Um, it could be Ronda and Natalia, like they had suggested at the beginning. Well, yeah, they they were gonna turn Natalia heel, but I which guess is funny because she's with, all over the place. The gym. She's like the big show. Well, well, yeah. All right, so moving over to SmackDown. Uh, did we get everything? Yeah. We didn't talk about Elias, but he just beat up Leo Rush. Yeah. It wasn't. It was. Lashley like, came out and bent over on the stage, and that yeah. was that was so that. weird. It's, it's so it's, weird. They're just trolling the audience at this point. That's all it is because they know people are like, oh, what the hell is wrong with this guy mm-hmm. bending over all the time? So like, no. oh, do it, do it, do it, do it, Lashley, do it. Ah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, because that did. Oh, yeah, because that was Balor again. He handed Elias the guitar, right? Yep. And Elias he uh, hit that's really a rush reason. and uh, killed him, basically. Yep. He just yeah, that's part, it up. part of the reason why I wanted to mention <laughs> it, because right. Balor that's really fair. did have a strong showing. He did, yes. Which, that's really what I mean. That was the story of Raw. Yeah, but, I mean, McIntyre and Balor should be pushed as the main they should. thing. <laughs> that's kind of what I was getting at before. Yeah. Because if they want to push um, McIntyre as the guy, it's fine. Just have someone go with them. Right, there's right. Nobody... Yeah, and yeah, but the problem is they don't do a very good job of no. building and, anybody and up to as a credible... And they've done such a good job of squashing Balor that it's hard to picture him, no matter how much we might appreciate him, mm-hmm. it's hard to picture him as right. a star. Right. It's like, all right, you, you do this this week, what's going to happen next week? It's true, because anything could be, happen. Is he going to fight the Lucha House Party next week? It's possible. <laughs> He's small like the Revival. It's true. Um, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we'll talk about SmackDown. Open, TLC, women's... Match contract signing between the three ladies, Oscar, Charlotte, Becky. Good opening segment. Um, you know, Becky and Charlotte have their back and forth. Mm. Um, and then I think Oscar chimed in and says that Becky already beat Charlotte. And then Charlotte said, "Yeah, but I beat you." And you know, and so then I, I mean, Oscar, I was I was cringing at the fact that they had Becky and Charlotte on the microphone. Going back and forth, you know, no problems, was and then Oscar all of a sudden Oscar was going to get it, and I was like, "Here we go." Mm-hmm. But no, they did a good job. That was fine. I, I, I think I Oscar has translated a lot better than uh, Shinsuke did. Yeah, I think she's she's probably getting more confident. Maybe that's why they dialed it back a little bit. Maybe they were doing more stuff with her, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but yeah, she she says that she hasn't lost to Becky, so right. that she can beat Becky. She mm-hmm. would have beat Ronda. Yeah. And then she said, "What well, Charlotte got lucky, right? Yep. Basically. Mm-hmm. So everybody had their own uh, means of, uh, I guess, defending themselves and attacking someone else. And they all think they're going to win right. at TLC. Yeah. And that should main event the show, I would I would think. Uh, it, it's certainly the best uh, Build option, yeah. yeah. which is funny because that's going to be over uh, booking over AJ Styles versus Daniel <laughs> Bryan again. <laughs> 
Because that t- true. that title still has not main evented a pay per view or a dual branded pay per view since nope. the brand split. Nope. So even backlash. It's oh, funny. Roman and Joe. Yep. Um. So uh, yeah, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville come out, obviously complaining about not getting an opportunity. Yeah. Oh yeah, this the whole thing started because Oscar said she would have beaten Ronda. Yeah. And then that's when Charlotte said you couldn't even beat me. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And then she challenges Charlotte to a match right. now, which is going to happen next week. Yes. Which is interesting, but I doubt it'll probably we'll get a clean finish. Some sort of nonsense will probably come out of it. Oh yeah, obviously. <clears throat> Becky will probably come out and attack the two of them. But yes, Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose come out and they whatever they were talking about, just complaining as usual. And Paige makes a tag team match between the two of them mm-hmm. and Charlotte and Oscar. And then, you know, our favorite opening segment leading into a match yeah well it, you know at least it made sense it's true um, it was it it wasn't an authority figure coming out to berate somebody and right. then leading to an unfair match mm-hmm. or anything did so, this miz and shane thing happen during the commercial break it, or right after it happened after made oh. page made the match oh, they right. came back from commercial and then i was getting the cookies okay <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, The Miz goes backstage and complains to Shane about why he has to do Miz TV with Daniel Bryan. Uh, calls Shane a bad partner. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that was it. Yeah. Because Shane basically says, well, he's the WWE champion. Yeah. So. Yeah, because they were like, uh, I remember Miz said that he, Daniel Bryan was going to be the, his fir- our first time ever on the uh, Miz TV. He was like, oh, wasn't liar. And then it was the new Daniel Bryan. Yeah, that like, makes sense. Silly bastard. Yep. So, yeah, then we have that tag match, and mm. obviously things don't go right for Asuka and Charlotte. Nope. Which is obviously just the way yes. they do things. But they did some good here. Sonya Deville picks up a victory over Charlotte, it's pinning true. her. Yeah. So at least you're giving someone that could use the rub some sort of positive yeah, momentum. True. Instead of just making the well, match stop. And the reason I'm going to bring that up. Well, first off, Sonya Deville unfortunately fell victim to them bringing ronda rousey in because her whole gimmick was oh, the fighter yeah so i mean forget about it how are you gonna i guess that's you know, true yeah but the reason i bring that up is later on in the evening <clears throat> you have randy orton versus jeff hardy they uh-huh. have a good match i enjoyed it mm-hmm. then you have joe interrupt jeff uh, ends up you know getting distracted and orton goes over him well, what's the point that's true and orton doesn't need an- to go no. over uh, um well, th- this could be a uh, a problem with the fact that SmackDown doesn't have enough heels. That's yes, Cut. but I was thinking you do have Andrade. He's uh-huh. basically the only other guy that they don't utilize that's a, a heel, right? Yeah. Pretty much, uh, uh, and Aiden English. But yeah, they're not going to put him. I, I know, but I'm just saying. Um, I think yeah. Amis, or I think maybe even Eric Young would probably be the only one. He's still could. injured though. Oh yes, I didn't even know that. Yeah. I think Luke Harper was the one that wasn't hurt, and he was just. I said Eric Young, not Eric Rowan. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's why I was confused. No. I'm like I didn't. I thought Sanity just no, wasn't they're on. They're still in that basement with the club okay. and okay. Uh, the. See, I'd even <laughs> I'd even be okay with Luke Gallows. I'd be fine too. And the, and the uh, Colognes. But whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just Randy Orton doesn't really need to happen. No. Uh, so we did find out that Samoa Joe is a bartender. Apparently, his off time. That's, Hopefully, that, he is more successful at that than working for the WWE. That's his day job. <laughs> um, yeah. So he had a uh, public service announcement. Oh my about... god! It's so dumb. It, <laughs> well, why do personal problems have to be storylines? You know that's Vince. You know that's all. It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. A, it's insensitive, and B, it doesn't get you any good because Joe's. Well, I know <laughs> he's gonna lose. He's gonna anyway. lose. So I guess it does make sense because he's being evil and right. he's gonna get his comeuppance. Yeah. So it makes because normally what the, they do is they do personal stuff, and the people who aren't supposed to get, <laughs> the people who are supposed to get um, beaten don't. It's like they don't Dean's lose. gonna end up winning the Intercontinental Championship. I hope so, right? You would I, think. I, I would imagine so. Because otherwise it. There's just no There's, reason yeah. for any of this to happen. It's true. Um, so, but yeah, this whole whole yeah, thing. Yeah, he had a whole drinking. I mean, he, it was. Joe does a good job. Yeah, he's, no, he's very he's good. His promo skills problem. are fantastic. He's just not believable as a competitive person. No, he, he just again, loses that's... all the time. <laughs> all the time. Put him and the revival together. Yeah, that'd be a nice stable. <laughs> 
What are you guys? We're the losers. Yeah, we're the rejects. <laughs> Vince like, doesn't like us for some reason. Go to the basement with the rest of the SmackDown tag division. Yeah. Well, but that, that's the thing, though, because they have three teams that don't know. need the help. I know. I they know, have three teams that who, if they continuously fight each other, and the best part is their backups are better than the ones that they use regularly on Raw. Mm. Because... I don't care what anyone says or oh, how they book them. There we go. The club are fantastic. They are. There's you can put them in any tag team match and it'll be better for it. Yeah. Um, as long as they're not portraying the old day, they're pretty good. Yeah. The <laughs> sanity is pretty good. They're not. They're certainly not bad. They're no. better than. They're more interesting than Authors of Pain. Yeah. Um, the colognes, you can put them in a match and it'll at least it won't look yeah. like a sack of I, crap. I still don't. I mean, the whole thing with Rhino and Heath Slater, obviously, it was cut from the Hulu version. Yeah. So I didn't see why it happened, but. Now, Corbin just threw him in a match together. Yeah, that, there was, was, there was no other... Like, like what's the point? Mm-hmm. You you didn't even have to do that. You could no. just, Rhino could have just went, bye. No, I, I'm okay with the way they did it. Because, I mean, you know, it, 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 it was... If a, they were more featured, it would be one thing. They, they're around more often than uh, you, you f- it feels like. Uh, oh, probably on main event. That too. But still, like, I'm sure they pop up here and there. And we just don't really pay much mind to it. I don't think so. Either way. I don't think um, so. I don't think so. But it hey, does, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make All right, difference. so since we're on the tag teams, they had a triple threat match yes. with each member of the teams that will be competing at TLC. Yes. So the Usos. I was going to call them the Usos. The Usos. Usos um, the New Day and The Bar. Yes. So what it do we have? Jay, Jay Cesaro and Xavier Woods. Um it was a fun. I, I no, it was the a good match. match. They did a I good liked, job. I liked how at the beginning Cesaro was just sitting out on the outside. It's playing it smart. Yeah. Um, the New Day, uh, or at least Kofi and Big E, were on commentary on the New Day booth, like, throwing oh. pancakes into the crowd. I would much rather them just put them on during it. Like, what did they cut to them once? It was once or twice. Was it once or twice? But they did a much better job than King and Booker T did. Well, that's true. That was <laughs> They didn't even know they were on TV. <laughs> that was great. Um... <laughs> Or, but they should have had them like. Well, the problem with having them simultaneously is that they oh, would shout at them. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess it would just be the new day. Mm-hmm. What we'd um, have is Corey Graves yelling at Byron and the new day <laughs> throwing pancakes at Corey. Actually, that would be entertaining. Yeah, it would be funny. Um, the fantastic spot with Cesaro. Uh, what did he have? Xavier Woods on his shoulders, oh, yeah. and then he was swinging yep. Jey Uso around. Just, just a great spot. Yeah, crowd was into it. I'm sure that was not pleasant to do. No, huh, no. A two hundred plus person, uh, pound person on your shoulders. He is the uh, what is the strongest man, pound for pound, or whatever they call him. No, that was Spike Dudley. No, <sighs> he he is the Swiss Superman. <laughs> yeah, but hey, okay, whatever. That's, That's fine. probably also what you said, <laughs> but <laughs> I do remember them saying that Spike Dudley was yes. like the. Yeah, I think he had a T-shirt like he that. did. Yeah, it's That's a pound the... for pound. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at least it wasn't an APA shirt. Always I miss pound and ass. <laughs> yeah, I, I miss I miss Spike Dudley. Probably yeah. still wrestles. Yeah, probably. Um, all right. So what did Jey Uso go over here? The super kick on Cesaro. Yeah, and I would assume we'll probably have the other three members next week in a triple threat. It's possible. Funny thing they said um, during the match mm-hmm. is that like there's only the three competitors tonight and then at TLC all six will be legal at yeah. the same time. Mm-hmm. Is there a stipulation in this match that I don't know about? I don't know. Cuz I don't think so. Is it a tornado tag triple threat cuz that'd be cool. Or is it just uh Corey, Corey Grave, Byron Saxon or Tom Phillips who just said something stupid. That's a good possibility. It's probably that one. All right. So I guess yeah, we had this. I guess it was weird with Rusev in the back because it really went nowhere. No, it went somewhere. No, well, I, yeah, I know because R- R- Rusev said that Shinsuke was afraid. That's why he attacked him from behind. Oh. So I, I think, ooh, <laughs> to be determined, <laughs> to be determined, and to de- to be determined versus so to be wouldn't determined. Wouldn't it be then. pretty good if Shinsuke got the services of? Not uh, just says triple threat match. Yeah, Aiden English for this. Rusev? No, Shinsuke. Oh, Get yeah. Get the service of Aiden, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, that so would make sense. That would make sense. He can... I, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. It, it just... I feel like he could help Shinsuke hmm? so much, especially... What the hell has he done as U.S. Nothing. champion? Nothing. And he could push this whole... What was it? Knock America thing? Yeah. 
it's just, but, just simple. Uh, I would imagine that's and probably going to happen. Like full circle with Rusev. Yeah, just, it, it would probably happen. I, I hope um, so. But what what this segment actually does is to kind of just establishes that everyone still loves Rusev. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, because he he walked away after saying that on everybody's favorite holiday, he's mm-hmm. gone. He's off the screen. And then he just sprints from a mile away, jumps into the camera, says, Rusev Day. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Um, then we had the new Daniel Bryan on Miz TV. Uh-huh. Um, he is apparently the heel vegan. That yeah. is his gimmick. I don't like hippie Daniel Bryan. Like, I know that's how he is in real life, but I don't, I well, don't like Well, to an extent. He, he, and he probably smells awful. He just looked dirty. He did look dirty. Um, maybe he'll join Sanity next. Oh, so before before Daniel Bryan comes oh, out, it's hilarious. Um, Truth and, and Carmella come out before. Oh, right, like, right. Like, the Miz is about to announce Miz TV, and mm. Truth and Carmella come out for a dance break, and then they just leave. What was it? It was pretty funny. We did get the dance break later on in the evening. Of course. But... There was a 90% chance of it happening. Yes. I don't know if you heard about but, it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I did see the poll. I was like, what the hell, what the hell is this? I, I, th- I thought it was pretty good. I like that they edited it. Yeah. It just brings some more interaction between True. your fans. I didn't, I didn't participate, but No, nah, neither did I. Um, I. At least Daniel Bryan was more, I guess, had a better reason to blame you people. Because, oh, you yeah. Know, it, it's true. Meat eaters and... Yeah. So on and yeah, he, so forth. He like has a reason to detest the WWE right, universe right, beyond yeah, yeah. just saying yeah. that he doesn't like them. Yeah. Which no, is so that was the, good. technically the motivation of right. a lot of heels. Yes. So. Um, but it is funny that they utilize that in the heel role. Yeah, it's true. The whole, you know, the being the vegan thing yeah. and everything like that. But it's more that. of him being a jerk than Yeah, him yeah, being... telling people how to live their lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I, I understand um, that. I like the fact that they had The Miz tell him that you they that Dan O'Brien finally listened to him. Yeah, that was good. And, and he's like, he, you done what I've been telling you to do all this time? Mm-hmm. Do what it takes. Yep. I just kicked a man in the groin once. And then when he was on commentary during versus with AJ versus the Miz, you think that's the only time I've ever <laughs> kicked someone in the groin? I, well, how do you think your daughter is going to look up to you as a role model? I hope she kicks everyone in the groin. <laughs> Byron, I hope she kicks you in the groin. Which, which You're is, a terrible person. Which is funny because um, her mother's <laughs> already you know kicked people in the head. So you know. well, you know, like uh, yeah, she's got some good role models right that's there. True. Yeah, yeah. Then that uh, was our main event: AJ Styles versus The Miz. Um, well, we should mention that during Miz TV, AJ came out to go after Daniel Bryan. Yeah, and, and then the Miz, Miz kind of helped. Yeah, they Daniel played a little Bryan. cat and mouse and all mm-hmm. that fun stuff. Um, yeah, no, it was a good main event. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I, I thought this we were eventually going to get this feud: Miz versus AJ. AJ? Yeah. Well. It, the I mean, Miz, it still can happen. It yeah, was just... it's, it's true. But the Miz was the option, really, if Daniel Bryan didn't win the WWE Championship mm-hmm. anyway. It's true. Because I had been saying, because I wanted to see a Daniel Bryan versus Miz um, WrestleMania match, that this was going to be yeah. the Miz beating or AJ for the title and Daniel Bryan win the Royal right. Rumble. It very well could be the other way around. It uh, could. However, it seems like they're still building that Miz versus... Uh... Oh, Shane, Shane nonsense. I, I really hope that's not true. I, I hope it's not either. But or, or at the very least, it doesn't happen on at WrestleMania. Right. Because this is way too early. Because, to I mean, that. to be honest, what do you do with Daniel Bryan at that point? Because uh, his only There's other no option, other faces that, uh, yeah, unless oh, you have Jeff Hardy. <laughs> to be fair, they could literally have him turn face immediately. There's really no reason for him to remain I guess that's a heel. true. But again, who are you going to have him face? Orton? Oh, yeah, Samoa the options Joe? are very limited. Because it's funny... Um, SmackDown has the better women's division, mm. has the better tag team division. Well, the thing is, it's it's better just because they only focus on the people that they want to focus on. Mm-hmm. Like, every week on SmackDown, you're going to see the same people. I guess it's less... Uh, Unless they do Rey Mysterio versus uh, they, they could. Daniel Bryan. That would make sense, and it would work. Yeah. Which um, I was surprised we didn't see him. Oh, pop up yeah. in the Randy versus yeah, Jeff. I figured that was just going to get yeah, turned into a we, tag we match. We both assumed that... Uh, 
Joe is going to physically get yeah. involved in the match. Not. So Orton and Ray are facing each other at TLC, or nothing was made, right? I don't think so. And then Joe and Jeff Hardy, nothing was made. No, I don't think so. And either. there's already, what, like six matches happening? I think it was seven. Yeah, and it still feels like they... Because, again, they don't really do much just on TV. Nope. Like, uh, or I should say, it doesn't stop. Yeah. Just, I mean, that you would think that they would do some sort of match between them. Oh, right? nine. Nine. Nine matches. Nine matches. And neither of those are in it. No. Hmm. Yeah, because there's one, we'll two, three, four, five matches for Raw. Well, Elias versus Lashley just... How many times have we seen that on Raw? A lot. Yeah. It, that'll be on the pre-show. There's um, so many things fighting for the pre-show, and we've gone over that. I know. All right, so that was SmackDown in a nutshell. So let's talk about this Mixed Match Challenge thing. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> right? Oh, well, well AJ we yeah. tapped the Miz, Miz tapped out to the, the calf, calf crusher, crusher and, and then Daniel Bryan beat the crap out of AJ after the match. Yep. Relentlessly. Didn't, yeah, just kept stopping him and whatnot. Hmm? Um, so the matches on the Mixed Match Challenge was... Very confusing. Jeff Hardy and Charlotte versus... Carmella and Truth. Carmella and R-Truth, yes. And... Asuka, Asuka and Miz versus, versus Naomi and uh, Jay. Jay. So we, me and Christine were watching it, and I was like, there's no way Carmella and R-Truth go over. She's like, no, they're going over. And then I was like, oh, wait, the finals happen at TLC. Yeah, because crap. Asuka and Carmella are both already preoccupied. Um, and I mean, Asuka and Jeff. Oh, that, Charlotte, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Charlotte, yeah, yeah. And then um, on the Raw side, Balor is already preoccupied. Mm -hmm. So it would make sense for them because Truth Truth and Carmel did, in fact, go over, mm -hmm. and so did um, Jay and Naomi. No. Jimmy and Naomi. No, Miz and Oh, Oscar they did? One. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they yeah. won reluctantly. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, it was. Yeah. So that, that would suggest that um, Carmella and Truth will actually somehow manage yeah, because, to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they have been building Asuka and Miz to be, like... Eventually. Like, well, because... Yeah. Uh, the entire time they made it seem like they were going to lose because they were fighting. Fighting, right, right, right. Um, right. So it would be very easy to believe that Truth and Carmella can beat them, which is funny because Truth and Carmella like won well, what, one match. I, I at thought the last night was the first match they won. They couldn't have been because they so. did the playoff. They oh, beat did they? Rusev and Lana. Oh, I think okay. they both went that in. That was 0 probably one of the weeks that I missed. Because... I missed that week because it was two weeks ago. Ah. I that was the only one I. And it's funny because I, I would I would have liked to see that match. Yeah. I just never got around to going back um but it's gonna it it could very well be jinder and alicia fox versus um versus our uh, truth and carmella yeah which yeah. is a joke well but, though i mean who cares if it was just a vacation that would be fine yeah, the, but the, the fact that the it's a th number 30 is the part that's a little yeah bit strange because i think what happened was with the mixed match challenge originally their idea was okay we'll just have the winner mm -hmm. We're probably gonna have have the Miz and Oscar win again or Braun and but there were so many changes to the roster. People kept getting injured. Yeah, and now with Roman being out and Braun's fate being mm -hmm. in question, like, okay, well we kinda need to add something to this so we can put it on the main card. Right. To make it worth it. But at the same time, we're so limited on what we're doing, we have to book some of these right. people in actual feuds. And I mean, the 30th spot was always a pretty big deal. Yeah, but to be fair, I think that the men's 30th spot isn't going to be as impactful as the women's. No, no, yeah. So I think that, um, well, if Jinder and Alicia somehow win this, neither of them are going to win the Rumble. No, 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 no. But I think there's a shot that if, like, um, well, tr neither will Truth or Carmella could. I would. It doesn't yeah, make a whole lot of sense, but she it's, could. It's true. It's possible. But you have so much tied up with... It, it just seems like those, you know, the three women who are in TLC and Ronda on Raw, all four of them will be involved in some yeah, capacity. Yeah, that's definitely possible. Be, um, if it's Charlotte and Ronda and Becky and Asuka or whatever. Yeah, because Balor and Bailey probably seem like the most likely. I would um, think would make the most sense, but Balor has a match at TLC. Yeah, I think that he's the only one who could really pull off double duty. Double duty. Yeah. Or I should say have the easiest time. And because, oh, that's a good way they could sell the loss against McIntyre. Yeah, because he already wrestled right. that night. Yeah. Because if they open the show with the mismatch challenge finals, mm -hmm. they have um, Bailey do most of the work, 
if it's going to be against Truth and Carmella, it's not really going to be that hard. Right. Um, and then they have Balor versus McIntyre like towards the end of the night. That's because true. Because there's really no other matches on this card that warrant being towards no. the end anyway. Mm-mm. It's true. It's a weird pay-per-view. It really is. That's because it's a bunch of crap. Yeah, pretty much. Besides the women's it's, it's all threat. With the exception of and the TLC the match. AJ and Daniel Bryan. They'll put on a good match. Yeah, and, and like Dean and Seth... Right, yeah, but that should be all good. the other matches. Like, there's that no stakes st- to is them. Is that a TLC match as well? No, it's just, just regular match. match. There's only one TLC match. It's just that's a what I match. thought. Um, Which but, is funny. Uh, so, go ahead. I remember we talked about this because I wasn't sure if uh, if that match was going to be a TLC. Like, they were actually going to put the belt from the ladder mm-hmm. or above the ladder um, because last year that that was a TLC match right between the Shield and. Braun in was it the bar? No. Wasn't that at TLC? No. What show was that at? That was at TLC. Yeah, wasn't but wasn't I thought it was a TLC match, no. no? Just a regular match? No, that was the match when um Braun got Dumps, thrown into yeah, the dumpster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the, a the handicap garbage truck. match. I thought I thought they It was it was um Braun, the mm-hmm. bar, right. the Miz. No, 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 I remember the TLC. I thought they advertised no. it as a TLC match. No, no? it was at no. TLC. All right, fair and, enough. And um Roman wasn't in it, Kurt Angle was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yes, yeah. he had the It was uh, not a TLC match. The TLC match was um I don't honestly know. It had to be a men's match. Maybe it was. I could have sworn it was that one. Hmm. I'm gonna look that up. Yeah. Because I'm curious. No, I, it couldn't have been a TLC match because it wasn't for a title. I realized that, but um, that's why I was confused. TLC 2017. All right. Well, that's where we're gonna leave it. Yeah. I still want to so, know. Yeah. So uh, we will see you guys next week for episode 22 or 23. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure this was 22. There you so go. Don't, don't lie to the people. All right. All right. Oh, it was. Look at that. How? How? It's not a. It's not for a title. All right. All right. Um, if you like what you saw here, please <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Dumbass. <laughs>